a Jaguar is awesome, isn't it? It's incredible. I've been reading a lot of press, um, a lot of it British, and they tend to you know, crow about anything British, but it's been overwhelmingly positive about the Jag. So I guess I was, I was expecting this incredible, you know, the sun to break through the clouds the first time I drove the car and just the, 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 the opera music to, to blow me away. And it's, it's definitely not opera music though. You start that V8, it sounds like you just opened up hell. My God, it's awesome. They've absolutely nailed, I think, the theatrics of a sports car. They've gone to town on it brilliantly. And when you get to a mountain with some lovely windy roads, you'll have an absolute ball. It's like the E-Type Reborn from decades ago. It's certainly a fantastic car. It looks cunning and evil but cool. You know, and it drives the way it looks. So it's, it, it feels like you're on the edge, but at no point are you ever gonna go over it. So it feels like you're an edgy driver, you're exciting and dangerous, but also the systems are there that, you know, so it lets you tail out a little bit in the dirt, but just brings you back in. Like a gentle little parental figure, just bringing you back in, but subtly. It's, it's, a, it's a more emotive car, it, it's got a lot of melodrama going on with its uh, drivetrain, uh, it's got a, an interior that tries to be different and sort of partitions the, the driver into a separate little capsule and puts the, the passenger off on, on, on the side with something very big and sturdy to hang on to. As a drive, as a sporty drive, uh, it succeeds. theatrical cars, they make all the right noises and you can tune the, the noise to, to suit the way you want it to be. Given that it's the first Jaguar sports car since the V12, which finished in what, 75, 74, since the E-Type, um, it's a fantastic effort. Yeah.